second thing we need to know is about the roots and what happens there. Okay, so we have geotropism. Okay, so here we have our, I'm just going to put the keywords up here as well just so that we can note. Here we have our root part and we're going to enlarge this so that we get a nice big image of it. So here is our root part. Okay, um, one I had to draw myself so it's not the best one. And sometimes in the exam or even in textbooks, you might see that the actual, they have a seed attached to it, which is perfectly fine. It's still talking about how the roots work. But for this example, I'm going to take this out so that we can just focus on this part. Now, um, in the roots, oxen tends to actually diffuse downwards towards the force of gravity. Okay, so that's the first key thing we need to know. So it diffuses downwards towards the force of gravity. So as a result, we're going to get a higher concentration of oxen on this side and we're going to get a lower concentration on this side. Now, we probably think it's going to work the same way as the shoots, but it doesn't. If we have more concentration of oxen on this side, it generally slows down the growth, okay? So the growth of the cells here will be slowed down. If we have a lower concentration of oxen on this side, the cells are going to grow as normal, if not quicker, okay? So it's the opposite way to, what it, uh, to the way it works in the shoots. So we'll have a look at our diagram here, which is generally speaking what has happened now as a result of the diffusion across. So I'll just move this one out of the way. So this is now our new root, okay, after what has happened. So you can see there the pink arrows are showing the movement of oxen and what has happened. So we have the higher concentration across here, but the cells are growing slower, okay? We have then the lower concentration of oxen on this side, and the cells are growing as normal, if not quicker, okay? So the key thing here is that, just move this across here, the cells are growing slower on this side, okay? So you just follow my finger there, and the cells are growing quickly on this side. As a result, the tissue is going to bend downwards, it's going to extend down along here, and it's going to move towards the force of gravity. Okay, so that's the key thing. And this is our geotropism. So it's really important that you know that this is geotropism here and that's how it works. So it's the opposite way to how it works in the shoots and it's really important that you know this, okay? So if you could take one thing away from here, oxen, just move those to the side just for a second. Oxen generally, okay, it slows down the growth of cells if there is a large concentration of it, okay? So that's the main thing that you need to take away from this, okay? Now, before we finish up, there's just two things I need to talk about very quickly, and that's how we use auxins, um every day, okay? So we can actually use them for our own benefit. So the first thing we're going to look at is how we use them for growing plants a lot quicker. So this is rooting powder. Rooting powder contains oxen in it. And uh, if we took a section of a plant, we cut it off, and we dipped it into this rooting powder, we're going to find that the um, plant is going to grow a lot quicker once we put it into soil, okay? So this is done for our own gain. The second thing is when we want to get rid of weeds, because weeds uh, compete with our good plants for space, for light, for nutrients, moisture, etc., and we do not like that. So we usually attack these weeds with weed killer, okay? And weed killer can contain oxen, and if it contains oxen, so if we go spray that, it's actually going to cause the plant cells to grow rapidly and out of control, and as a result, we end up with the weeds being killed. So therefore, we can have our good plants growing in a nice spacious area with loads of light and nutrients and whatever else it needs to grow properly. So um, I hope this has cleared up a few um, you know, misconceptions that you might have had about hormones. And um, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.